All right, guys. Uh, so, what's the plans from here? Because obviously, uh, like I say, I mean, there's been a few trolls that are all on blacklist in the Philippines and stuff. Laughable, really. Well, it's rather sad, really. Um, yeah, April's mother is coming over to Spain on holiday. She's coming over for a month. Um, Going to take her to see the big cathedral in Barcelona and stuff, and uh, big family trip. Um, well, as I've said before, I'm very family orientated anyway. So this this is the thing. A lot of people go, you know, would think, well, it's uh, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? It's because we're family. <laughs> as simple as that. Same as tomorrow. Um, I'm going to see my father-in-law's grave tomorrow. You know, take some flowers and stuff out of there. Um, also, it's my mother's death anniversary as well. So for me, there's a lot of family commitments. And although, like I said, I'm not religious, it's more, for me, it's just remembrance. Um, but I think it's important to remember people that, are, that mean a lot to you at the end of the day. So that's what's happening tomorrow. Um, I'm meeting up, hopefully meeting up with the mayor of Cebu as well. I've just waiting for a friend of ours to get back to me on that. As, long, as well as uh, meeting up with a couple of councillors and stuff as well from different areas, different barangays. Um, because they're interesting characters themselves. They're, they're self-made business people, and I think it's good to promote um, people that have worked hard and got what they, they've they got by uh, putting the effort in. So uh, that's one of the reasons I want to meet up with them. Um, they're involved in different projects and have their own businesses as well as involved in the, the government as well. Um, yeah, what's the other question? Oh, is April's mother good permanent in Spain? Um, one of the things I want to stress, I, I let everybody do what they like. You know, that's the, the end of the day, it's a bit like a friend of ours' mother went to the UK. She hated it. <laughs> she hated it. It's a good way to go home. Um, she found people too disconnected. Here, everybody talks to you. But in the UK... You've got to really make an effort, and some people think you're weird if you started talking to them. Um, so when she goes to the UK, she can't wait to go back to the Philippines because she finds people just aren't as approachable. Um, I've got to admit, in Spain, it's like that until they know you as well. Once they know you, everyone's sound. But most people, I mean, I've got to admit, in the UK, it's a little different. You find a lot of people won't go past hello. You know, that's as much as they want to talk to you. Um, but in Spain, once they know you, they, they, a lot of people have got all day to talk to you. Um, they're very helpful people. Um, Philippines the same. People just like talking with you. You know, same as if there's some guy. If you say, oh, I haven't been to a fiesta before, I tell you what, they'll find one for you to go to. <laughs> um, but yeah, April's mother's coming over, and we'll see, see if she likes it. If she likes it, it's up to her. I don't mind if April's mother wants to come over and live with us. Um, but that's completely up to herself. Um, I mean, it's the same with my <clears throat> my father. My father's had the same opportunity. Um, he knows he can come over to Spain whenever he feels like it. Same as my daughter in the UK and others. Um, we're pretty laid back like that. Uh, so it's yeah, she's coming over on holiday. Then I think what well, she's going to have a month with us. Come back. Then uh, I think April's flight will be set up next. So she can come back, see her friends and stuff she ain't seen for a few years. And then we'll just see where everything goes. Because like I said, everything's just starting to fall in place now. And that's one of the things I do want to point out, which is it's very good for trolls to actually complain about stuff. Where, especially if it's out of your control. Um, like I say, with their visas and stuff, it was a case of things like spelling mistakes. There is nothing you can do about it. You can't sit there and argue with a government official that the government got it wrong. That's not how it works. You've got to wait for them to put it right in their time frame. Um, a lot of time, if you do argue, you're going to end up with it being put to the bottom of the pile. If you're polite and nice, they might actually do it a little bit faster. But generally, I find it takes as long as it takes. And that's the way we've looked at it. That's why um, April was a little bit... So it's like you know when the, you don't know you know then the day even though it's now all confirmed because there's been that many delays um, because of paperwork she isn't going to believe her mum's coming until her mum's in Spain 
<laughs> and sees her at the airport because it's been such a journey just to get all this done. And that's what I said. I can't understand how 10 million Filipinos can go overseas with this much paperwork and headache. Um, but then again, I suppose that's why there's a lot of agencies out there that spend all day processing everything. Um, I think I'm going to have a full luggage of shoes when I go back, though, looking at April's shoe cabinet here. So I know she wants her shoes in Spain, so I'll take those with us. That's one of the things, being a guy, I, I can fit most of my stuff in my camera bag, never mind need a suitcase. So I've got, I think, 33 kilos, where my stuff only weighs seven. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, the, that's going to be the update. And for me, it's a big, important thing. Um, firstly, we're here to meet up with the mayors and stuff uh, relating to Envo Power. But also, um, April's mother going to Spain, and that's a big tick in the box, because the two biggest hurdles I've had in recent times, it was April and the kids' visas getting approved for Spain and becoming residents. Then, obviously, April's mother over. And for me, it's like a big weight lifted um, because now I can focus more on business. Um, because it's been a little bit hindered because you have to stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. Can't travel too far because in case you're needy for something or the, yeah, it's just been a pain. But yeah, everything's falling into place now, I'm happy. Uh, hope that answers your question. <laughs>